everybody and welcome back once again to the Leeds United Challenge. So here we are, away to Blackburn. Yes, in the last session, it was a while ago, but uh, we're back on track now. Uh, we beat Brighton 4-2. 4-2 we, 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 we won. Very good result indeed. So that pushed us up to 20th place in the league table. So this game corresponds with the real life Leeds game when we played uh, Cardiff, I think it was. I checked before I started the recording, but it was Cardiff. Uh, we won 2-0 away. Very, very positive result. Second victory in a row at the time. I'm hoping to follow suit. See if we can. Of course, the change in formation is working fairly well. Didn't do too badly against QPR. Definitely did well against uh, Brighton. We're hoping to continue that sort of performance level into this match against Blackburn. And before we crack on with today's game, we'll take a quick look at a particular team that's been requested. So we'll take a quick peek at Charlton. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Right. Uh, League One. So here we go, checking out Charlton's position in League One as uh, Tariq has requested this. So here you are, you are in, I, mean, I, see, I, say, I assume you're a supporter, uh, sixth position. Currently in the playoff spots, you've won four games, some comfortable victories there against Bristol Rovers, Wimbledon, Oldham, Sheffield United, two draws against Shrewsbury and Chesterfield and two losses against Peterborough and Berry, who are in and around the same position that you are. 14 points and a plus 5 goal difference. I mean, I don't know any players that you've got, but uh, uh, that's my team. Uh, let's have a look at the transfers for you as well. So you've got a lot of uh, free transfers coming in. None of these names mean anything to me. Maybe, apart from, of course, Luciano Becchio. <laughs> that means something to me. Actually, he's a United player, of course. He's uh, currently at Charlton. On a free transfer. And on the outs, Chris Solly. For a fee of 1.2 million. Uh, I've got him on a different save. He's a right back, isn't he? He is indeed. Uh, yes, I've got him playing for me on a, on a different save, and he's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, he went out for 1.2 million to Hull, who are in the Premier League. So that's how good he is. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, Charlton. Whistle-stop tour. Sixth position. Good chance of getting into the higher ranks of the, uh, of the league, I'd say. Okay. So uh, keep me posted if you want me to uh, check out any of your particular teams. Uh, there are a couple more teams that I need to check, and I'll check those in the upcoming videos. Uh, right then, so in terms of our team and our game, um, we are, of course, away to Blackburn, keeping pretty much the same formation. Although just before the start of the session, Sir Green was bothered by two of his playing staff, Diago Raga and Dukara, both coming to him and moaning that they weren't playing in a first-team football. And then rather conveniently, Luke Murphy found himself injured for three to four weeks, Sir Green looking at Diagaraga and eyeing him with suspicion. Hmm. But anyway, he does start to play more first-team football due to Murphy's injury in rather suspicious circumstances. Uh, so that's him silenced, at least for now. We just have to worry about Dukara. But the team hasn't changed, apart from, of course, Diagaraga coming in. And Berardi has replaced Darnell Fisher, because Berardi was banned in the last match. Everything else is pretty much as it was last time. Was successful. Let's hope we can continue on the same path. Right. Proceed to match. I believe so. Nothing else for us to do. I don't believe. Everything was set up before we started the recording. So, uh, yeah, another win would certainly see us rise up the table. Blackburn apparently have enough to secure a win against us. But do not count us out. That's all I have to say. They're playing a flat 4 4 2. Okay. Opposition instructions, no, thank you very much. And uh, see if we can uh, make some people eat their words with a positive performance here. More importantly than a positive performance, perhaps three points. Okay. The morale has improved after the victory, but the uh, team talks aren't still going very swimmingly. Maybe Sir Green needs to work on his motivational skills. Anyway, we're off and running. Here we go. Fingers crossed. 
Let's see if we can uh, make it two on the spin. And there is certainly si uh, uh, you know, signs of improvement and time for celebration. As Dallas wins a corner in the opening seconds of the game. Right. Okay. Fairly harmless corner, unfortunately. Right, and we're into the game now. We're in full swing, and let's have a look at the old stats as we progress through into the tenth minute as we get a chance here. Oh, he's offside, offside. Ooh, 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 a chance there. Early chance. We've had a great deal of the possession so far. Two shots to one, 59% possession, but the game is going by very swiftly. Not many chances. Okay. Not creating too many chances, but not conceding either. 54% now. They're slightly playing better. Coming up to half time, there's been no highlights to speak of. And this is on comprehensive highlights, so this must be really a dull game. But looks like we might have a chance on the back end of the first half as Berardi plays it forward to Sloth, and Sloth is a bit slow to the ball. But uh, we're still in possession here. I'm a little bit wary. Sloth now, can you do something with it? Just going out wide and plays it to Mowat now. There's some nice little football there. Taylor, left hand side, cuts it inside to Mowat who takes a shot and the keeper has to pull out a save. Okay. Let's keep plugging away here. See if we can sneak one at half time. This would be a perfect time to score and cook at the cook with a chance. It was a bit of a half chance. Probably snatched it in there. Never mind. That's probably gonna be it now. That is gonna be it. We're playing better, but it's uh, nil-nil. Oh, is it? I may have spoken too soon here as Leeds come forward again now. Cook, Mowat, plays it nicely through to Grenoch. He can't score from there, surely. Mowat now again with the ball, puts it inside again and it's cleared. Leeds not quite done yet, looking to really deal a sucker punch before the half-time whistle is blown. Just get a ball whipped in. Get a ball whipped in. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and it was a chance for a Grenoch there again. Everything is going straight to the keeper. They're not testing him really, but uh, the positive thing is we're creating chances, and that is what we need to keep doing. Keep it up. I completely agree. Seem to lose focus. Well, gain focus. Gain focus, man. Focus on what I'm saying. I'm not speaking in a foreign language. Right, he looks happy. Good. Right, uh, we'll keep it as it is for now. It's working well. We do have. We don't have really too much choice on the bench. We are very. Uh, we are very striker heavy. We never anticipated switching to a formation that involves one striker, and all the pre-season transfers we bought two. <laughs> so uh, striker heavy. But uh, let's hope we don't get a, a lot of injuries in the midfield, otherwise we might be a bit scuppered. And we're miles away from the January transfer. Couldn't really do any transfer business uh, in August. Cellino really clamping down on us. Maybe in January there'll be an opportunity too, if we can move ourselves up the table, perhaps convince him that we need to strengthen our team to, to, to push for a higher league position, maybe? Anyway... What are we doing here? What's going on here? This is the start of the second half. Let's not get uh, off to a bad start. And Silvestri with a precautionary tip over. Conway puts it in. Doesn't beat the first man. Has a second bite at the cherry. Bamba puts it out. Leeds still playing the better football, but the game is beginning to even up a, st even up a touch now. We don't like it. Blackburn are getting back into the game. We need to really stamp down on them. Sloth. Gets the ball back. Diego Aga now. Plays it into Cook. Dallas beats his man and takes a bit of a tame shot. Not really testing the keeper. Corner. Floats it in to the back post and it's cleared fairly easily. As Taylor now tries to work the ball forward once again. It's a poor pass and this is where Leeds have been dealt blows in the past. They've been in possession, they've given the ball away and the teams have scored on the breaks. Happened in the past two games. But they're still pressing here, still looking for that goal. And it's good football. Just need that killer instinct in the final, let's say the final third, in the bloody penalty area. Dallas with the corner. Headed out. 
Taylor now tackled, but the ball is still coming at Blackburn. They're having to soak up a bit of pressure here. As they now try, oh, and it's a sloppy touch from Conway. The Agaragas there to pounce, and now we end the highlight there. Okay, so uh, ooh, what is that frustrating game? It's one of those games where. You know, we're doing fairly well, we're away from home, we've got the uh, domination in possession, we're playing better than the opposition, we've got more shots, more shots on target. Um, but, all it takes is a goal from them and it'll be uh, it'll be a catastrophic event. We need to put our chances away. Right, okay, uh, Dallas is getting fairly tired. Uh, there's a, I'm sure we could be, well, there's a real life uh, international break now, so we'll be coming up to an international break soon enough. Uh, we're out of the cup and it's cup midweek, so I think we've got a decent break until the next fixture. Sloth is playing well. He played well in the last game as well. I'm thinking who to bring off here. Grenache has not done a great deal. Should we bring on perhaps uh, try Carlton Cole? Anything to note from uh, the old... Assistant here, Lewis Cook, maybe not playing as well as he could do. Don't really have a replacement for him, unfortunately. Diego Ragas, okay. We'll keep going. No point in making changes for the sake of it. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with what I'm seeing, so we'll give it until about the 70th minute before we start tinkering. Concern is Dallas's uh, fitness levels mainly. It's going right down to 67%. Okay. Bataka's not the greatest in that position. But he can play there. I'll bring on some fresh legs. Grenache is going to come off. Who for? Carlton Cole. Come on, let's give Carlton Cole a chance. Let's see if he can produce something here. We'll save one substitute in case things go wrong. Should we change the formation? Should we change the tactics? I don't think so. I think it's just more of the same. A bit of fresh legs, maybe might spice things up. Give it until the 75th minute, perhaps we'll go. They've got an injury. Game's just petering out a little bit. Perhaps a team talk might assist. Let's just give a bit of encouragement, a bit of passionate encouragement to the team. <clears throat> as it looks like Blackburn might be on the attack in the 75th minute. This is what I'm not happy about. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh. We've had, you know, we've, we've we've been the dominant team for the most part, but we just don't want to get hit. Maybe we should just settle for a draw. Slow the pace down, shorten the passing. It's already on, relatively short, but uh, focus on keeping the ball and playing it safe. Maybe taking it off fluid and going on to flexible. You know what? I'm talking about it. and I think the more I talk about it, the more I think we should be doing it. Standard is fine. Don't want to invite too much pressure by going defensive. I'm just going to drop the line back now. Forget the offside trap. Uh, we're going to just narrow it up a touch. It's compact to the middle. Uh, passing short. Fine. And uh, get stuck in. Yep. Yeah. That seems like a, a decent plan to me. Let's see if we can... I'd be happy. I'd be happy with, with the draw. Four points from the past two games. I think it's an improvement. But if we can just sneak one in here. If we just sneak a winner. It would be glorious. Sloth. Cole. Cole's fresh. Puts the ball out wide to Berardi. Get in the box now. Come on. Let's start getting forward. Let's get a nice whipped cross in there somehow. Cook. Bowett! He's offside. He's offside. As the energy levels really begin to plummet now. There's this a long throw. I think we've given the ball back after an injury. 85th minute. Let's hope that does not come back to haunt us. As the long ball goes downfield. It looks like Leeds have got Blackburn pinned back into their own half. And this is promising. This is promising. Even if we don't get the full three points here. QPR performance. We lost but we played well against top of the table. Last game, we played very well and won. This game away from home against Blackburn, a higher op opposition higher in the league. We're playing well, but might not get the points. But we've done well. We're going to... Uh, this is it. This is it. 90th minute. Unless there's some kind of sting in the tail, this is going to be it. 93rd minute. This is probably the full time. Unless there's a sting in the tail. <laughs> 
Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Carter Cole with a glorious chance. Oh, the dying seconds of the game. I don't know how he didn't put it in. I don't know how he did not put that in. That would have been... Oh, there would have been an eruption there. There would have been an absolute eruption here at Ewood Park from the away fans. But it's not to be after a very, very convincing performance. They couldn't quite put Blackburn to the sword. It's nil-nil. They've upset the odds. I'll give my own team talk there. I'll be, uh, I'll be calm. Oh, shoot, I've... I I pressed the wrong button. Damn you, flipping thing! I'm supposed to say I'm happy with the defensive work. Oh, I've I've turned them off. I've confused them. I've demotivated them with my misclick. Oh, you Damn you, misclicks! Right, okay. Well, it's not a catastrophe. Certainly not. It's a point. It's away from home. It's a solid performance. 14 shots to 9. 61% possession. You know, it's uh, it's it's an improvement. We're showing signs of improvement. And that's the main thing. We just have to be a bit more clinical. That's all we need. A bit more clinical finishing. But at the end of the day, we have 7 points. 3 away from relegation. <laughs> don't know why I'm looking down there. We should be looking up here, shouldn't we? Uh, so, yeah, all, all in all, not too shabby. We'll take that. And now Sloth is asking to discuss club matters. What's, gonna, what, what's got his boot? He's playing first-team football, so he's either unhappy with our league position. It's the only thing I can think of. Right. Okay, what do you want to say, Mr Slothy? Oh, I was too harsh on the team during the team talk. Yes, well, what happened was I was uh, possessed by a demon. Yes, I don't know what I was saying. I'll work on the way I approach things. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'll have to try to try and placate this matter. Can't quite tell Casper Sloth that we misclicked now, can we? Oh, I appreciate it. Very good. Right, I'll learn from my mistakes and I'll try not to be possessed ever again, okay? But uh, these things happen. <laughs> Right, okay. Anyway, uh, yes, next game, we're at home again to Wigan, who are in the relegation zone. So considering that we are in, uh, playing better football recently, considering we played very well and won at home against Brighton, I'm expecting three points from here. I really am. Am I, is, am I setting my stall out too soon? I don't know, but I really should expect us to come away from this game against Wigan with three points. And if, I, if we don't, well, I'll be unhappy. But anyway, there you go. So join me next time to see if we can uh, get another three points on the board and continue our rise up the championship table. Till next time, see you soon.